Hey guys, I'm Michael Allen for TravelCostaRicaNow.com. Guys, this is a gay video, so if you're not gay, you might want to... But, for you anti-gay bigoted types that like to write nasty things under uh, gay videos, I actually have a tip for you that I promise will help you, but it's at the end of this video, so you might have to wait around for a minute and hear some stuff you don't want to hear, but I promise you at the end, good stuff. It will help. Now, this is an update. We've done this video before uh, a few years ago about living gay in Costa Rica and traveling here as a gay person in Costa Rica. This is kind of an update if you missed those videos. Uh, this is kind of some of the same information, some different. This is April 2011. Now, most of the travel guide books to Costa Rica will tell you that Costa Rica is one of the most gay friendly destinations in Central America, which kind of, I guess, is true, but a lot of times, gay friendly is used the same way as self sustainable, eco friendly, organic, green. Sometimes it sounds good when you say it, but it's not always necessarily the truth of it. So a lot of times it's got to do with marketing. Now, get into the gay friendly thing a little bit uh, later. Unfortunately, since we did these videos a few years ago, not really not a whole lot's changed. Costa Rica is a big time Catholic country. All right, it's uh, the church here has a lot of influence, both politically and otherwise. They're very traditional in their thinking, especially about gay. So that's kind of the belief system here. So gay people should read that as this is a don't ask, don't tell, don't act country. Now, as far as the don't ask, don't tell, Costa Ricans are some of the nicest people you're gonna ever meet. They're not confrontational. Uh, and they don't really care that you're gay technically because silently they're thinking, wow, they're living in sin and they're going to hell, but we'll let God handle that. The problem is the don't act part because now if you do something gay outside in public, now you're forcing gay. You're forcing gay down their throat and, <laughs> and not in a good way. So that's kind of the belief system here, how, how people are thinking. Now, living here gay as a gay person and traveling here are two different things. Living here, okay, anywhere outside of San Jose and some of the more eclectically populated beach towns like Man Juan Antonio where there's a little bit more progressive thinking, um, it's tough here. Yes, they have their gay protests from time to time. Yes, they have their pride parade. Yes, they have progressive thinkers that are trying to keep the Catholic Church at bay, or maybe they're trying to pass, help pass some pro-gay legislation. But technically, the gay thing isn't that vocal here. Tradition rules. And the fact is, most gay Costa Rican gays are still in the closet because they don't want to upset grandma. <laughs> So, now me, La Fortuna, is supposed to, I guess, gay friendly, I'm not sure. But I've been discriminated personally four different times. Three times for kissing, mild kissing. And if you know anything about Latin America, you know they're a very passionate people. They don't mind doing public displays of affection. And so what I was doing was nothing. Now, one time I was in the park and the police stopped and said what I was doing was obscene. And I can tell you, it was nothing in comparison. Now, so what happened, I, I go tell my friends, my gay friends, oh, what happened to you? Look what happened to me. Do you think there was a rally? Do you think they were marching down to the police station and say, how dare you? No, actually, they said I deserved it. Because again, I was forcing, you know, my gay. So that's kind of how it goes here. now. The gays that live here that tell you they're accepted as gay people aren't telling you the entire truth. They are accepted as long as they don't act gay. So that, and that's few exceptions. So the people who go, oh no, I'm accepted. That's just because they're not doing anything gay out in public. The people just know they're gay and it's all good. Now, traveling here, totally different thing because now they just think you're a crazy, you know, gay gringo. And plus they know you're leaving, so they don't mind, you know, taking your dollar for a minute, you know, whatever. Now, could you, could you hold hands on the beach? I think so. Could you hold hands in San Jose? Could you kiss? Technically, I think you could, and you could get, a, you could get away with it. I, you might get some glares, but I don't really think anything's gonna happen. But you know what, my advice? 
it's not worth the risk. It's kind of like um, the water situation. You can drink the water in Costa Rica in most places, but there's a few you can't, so why risk it? Get bottled water. Well, the gay thing's the same way. Let the Costa Ricans deal with their gay thing. Don't come down here. You know, you're in another country. I don't think you just want to get into it, so I would keep my gay at the hotel, gay-friendly hotel, or, you know, the gay clubs. So, um, and that brings up my thing about gay-friendly. Now, if a website doesn't have any, they, they say they're gay friendly, but there's nothing on the website that would show you that, that just means they're trying not to alienate straight people. So if they don't have a rainbow or a flag or something to say it, then, then they're obviously they're not that gay friendly. And if you're still kind of in doubt, call them, email them and say, hey, would I be allowed to kiss in the pool? Because that, that would be a big, big indicator. So that's just a little tip about the gay friendly thing, because really it's, uh, just because somebody says it doesn't necessarily make it so they're just hoping you don't do anything gay they don't mind it's the same whole it's the same situation i've been saying you can go there be a gay couple they just don't want to see it in a lot of these places so now i promised you uh anti-gay bigoted types uh a tip here it is when you spell faggot like this I feel discriminated against, I feel like a victim, I get sad, and it makes me want to cry, okay? But when you, when you spell it like this, it makes me think you're like a Phelps family inbred that didn't pass third grade, okay? So, wouldn't you rather make me cry? I know it doesn't look like it should be spelled like this, this looks like fag gut, trust me. This is it. This makes me cry. This doesn't. I'm Michael Allen, TravelCostaRicaNow.com. Peace, guys. Hope it helps.